Loved ones are calling for answers after seven people are shot in North St. Louis, leaving three of them dead. Police have identified the three deceased victims as 44 year old OJ Purnell, 40 year old Kevin Page and 31 year old Charlie Anderson. Two of the men were found dead inside a candy store on Sullivan, the third in a school parking lot across the street. We're told one of the victims owned that candy store. The victim's family are calling on the community to end gun violence and cooperate with police. Please, if, if you know anything or you got to be feeling guilty, you took all these people lives out here, please turn yourself in. And with summer just starting, gun violence is already plaguing the city. The mayor's office released a statement today expressing Mayor Jones's heartbreak regarding the issue. Now, a spokesperson says in part that is why she is proposing an initial $11.5 million investment from American Rescue Plan funding towards public safety measures that will directly address the root causes of crime. It's imperative that we use all the tools available in the prevention toolbox to bring down the rates of violence. Fox News' Zara Barker talks about another crucial resource in our region, Crime Stoppers, and how they say everyone can help reduce crime. Zara. While detectives are continuing to work to solve these crimes here at the St. Louis Metro Police Department, they're also asking for the public's help, and they can do that by calling Crime Stoppers. Oh, you don't get numb to that kind of thing, no. It's still as horrible as the first one. This is Lisa Pashoda. She's the executive director for Crime Stoppers Tip Hotline in the St. Louis region. Sometimes she's on the other end of the phone when people call in tips. In her 16 years, she's not numb to the gun violence and wants Crime Stoppers to help make a positive change. You know, the end all be all would be that people would put down their guns and do something more constructive, stop using weapons to solve their problems, but when officers go out and look for these weapons and try to make these arrests, they need information on who's got them and where they are. Sometimes that information comes from Crime Stoppers. When someone's brave enough to call Crime Stoppers, we take the information on the crime, not their name, not their location, not their phone number, the information on the crime that was committed. After the anonymous call, that information goes into a program and directly within moments to the detectives or the agency that is investigating it. Pashota says sometimes she also calls a detective as she's putting in the information so they can look at it right away. Which is what these what this program is designed to do. Get the information in the hands of the investigators as soon as possible so they can get out on the street and take care of that. You know, the sooner the better. After the officers let Crime Stoppers know if a tip helped lead to an arrest so the tipster can be rewarded. Just in 2021, Crime Stoppers has received more than 1300 tips so far, and that's led to nine arrests. In the last 16 years, they've received 23,000 tips, which has led to 70 weapons taken off the streets. Crime Stoppers makes a difference because not everybody wants to be a witness. You know, unfortunately, police officers need witnesses and attorneys need witnesses to solve these crimes and make these arrests. But there's a, a you know, between not calling and not saying anything and being a witness on the stand, there's Crime Stoppers. Now, if you know anything about the recent violence that has plagued St. Louis, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers. That number is right here on your screen, or it can be found on our website, fox2now.com. Live from downtown St. Louis, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.